Hello and welcome to Long Time No See, the podcast coming to you from Gold Diggers Recording Studios in Los Angeles, California. We'll be getting to know some of your favorite comedians a little bit better, and so will they. Each week's guests have no idea who the other guests will be, so without further ado, please remove your blindfolds and introduce yourselves. <laughs> Motherfucker, okay, what's man. up, man? How are you doing? So, it's been a minute. I know who this guy is. I don't I need know I don't need no man. What's man. up, man? How are you? I think they did this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they had to. I asked I, if they I had like, enemies on. I feel I had to keep my hat on so we could tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> So introduce yourselves, then we'll get to the first Oh, I'm to each other? To the cameras. Oh, my, my name is Mateen Stewart. My name is Dave Merhej. I'm so happy. I was, like, nervous. Yeah, I don't know why. I, uh, I, I was the same. I was like, who the fuck is this? I feel like I was find out that I had a le- Ill- legitimate child. Like, I was yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's, here's your child that you haven't talked to in you, years. You know what I thought, though? I thought you had a... The person had a big water jug. Oh, really? Because, or unless you're just very strong, because when you put it down, I'm no, like, oh, I sat I down and I one. and I knocked down all this because. Oh, man, yeah, I yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, no, no, I I came in and knocked all this shit down. So I was like, this is gonna, this is the type of comedian. Yeah, and then I then I then I, then I then <laughs> big then, water jug. <laughs> I have a presence. I didn't, and I want to use my voice. because I was like, who's? They might know my voice if I keep talking. I would have knew if you. No, if you would have yeah, said so, I, I would have known your voice too. Insane. Yeah. I would have. I I knew it was a it was. Uh, it was a guy because I heard them in the hallway go, "Do you need to use the bathroom?" And I was like, <laughs> it's like I'm a detective. Yeah, <laughs> I'd kill it as a. Detective. Yeah, you do. Yeah, this is good. All right, uh, what was your most recent bomb, and how did it compare to your worst? Um, I had a, I had, a, I had like a soft bomb in Prescott, Arizona, and it was the average age was like like 65. <laughs> and this old black dude got up. He said, "Has had his old white wife." He got up. He goes, "You dirty fucking fuck!" And then he slowly exited. <laughs> he slow, like he slowly exited. Like I, I was like, "If you're gonna leave, you need to fucking hurry up." And you can't say I, he called me a dirty fucking fuck. And and I was like, "That doesn't even make sense, bro." Like, why are you so mad at me? And yeah, that was my most recent. And my my worst bomb was February first, two thousand thirteen, at the Comedy Store. Whoa. I was a twenty third comic on a Bringer show. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I had to follow. Um, Bobby Lee had got naked, and it was like he's doing his thing, and it's like here's this comic that's doing comedy for six minutes <laughs> to do six new minutes of material, and it was like. 250 people silent, just silent. Whoa. Silent, like silent. Beca- oh, well, okay, yeah. Did they like Bobby's nakedness? Yeah, they okay. were excited to see Bobby. Okay, were, okay fair, fair. Yeah, and fair. then it's like you see this guy that they know, and it's like, here's this guy you don't know <laughs> that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. So, yeah, that was my most recent and my most memorable bombs. How about you, bro? Most, uh, I feel there's a few... I mean, it wasn't like like a bomb, like where yeah, it's like, like I said, a soft, soft bomb. bomb. Yeah, because uh, at this point, what like are you gonna really bomb if you've been doing comedy for so long? I think it was sometime in Toronto, like in a it, no, it wasn't. It was a just for laughs. It was just re- <laughs> recently, okay, just I for was, no laughs. I was just <laughs> 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 what? Um, oh man, I'm gonna I'm blanking on the comics. They have a following, uh, older, uh, I believe, East Indian or Pakistani woman, like. Works out of New York. Uh, I know who like, you're talking about. Like a, uh, she does like mom comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. she had a she had her own shows at Just mm-hmm. for Laughs, and they had paired me up to open. And um, I, I had like I got there, and she's super sweet, lovely, and uh, we had done um, I think a warm up, or no, we were gonna do a warm up set after. I just remember being like uh, trying to be optimistic. I mm-hmm. guess this will be fine. It's like. And I, I was like, well, I'm Lebanese. Yeah. You're brown. <laughs> That's a brown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a brown. That was my mistake. Mm-hmm. And I went on, and they just weren't, they just wanted to see her, which is yeah. completely understandable. And then halfway through, I go, I, there was a couple people with headphones on, mm-hmm. and there was a, one guy who had his headphones off. And I'm like, I just stopped midway. I go, I get it. <laughs> 
Like it was like I go, you don't want to see me. I know what's happening here. I know I'm not doing well, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. push through. I got four yeah. more minutes. Yeah. You think I wanted to? Yeah. In this old like type church, I think it was like, and it was, and I left. Was he? Was the headphones him listening to something, or was it like? There was a couple of people. There was like a whole family. Too. Oh, okay. There was like a kid, yeah. and the, like there was too many things yeah. that were. Or was happening. it just like? It wasn't like some autistic kid that didn't like sounds. No. Okay, because that, that would be weird. That would be awkward, bro. No, no, like... they, they didn't like my sound. Okay. Right. <laughs> I knew. The, the walk up, I knew it was over. Yeah. The walk to the mic. That's always difficult when you, like, open up for people who have an audience. Yeah. And, like, they just like, oh, yeah, you're just going to go open up for this guy. And they're like, we don't know who the fuck you are. We don't care. They don't care no. at all. Bring, they, they... Like, yeah, you could not even be here. Yeah, they, yeah, I've opened for people. I think I've opened for people I know, and I've been on their like like a TV show, and they didn't even <laughs> they didn't even know I did comedy. Yeah, <laughs> they were just like you. Uh, they were like, "What are you doing here?" Yeah. I go, oh, I'm, "I'm open," and they're like, "Doing what?" <laughs> I go, "Comedy." They're like, "Oh shit, you're a comic," and I'm oh. like, "Oh, this is gonna be not oh, good wow. either." <laughs> These people like. <laughs> that's Dave was on one of my favorite shows of all time, Mr. D, bro. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen it? That's the best. I remember you would tell me that, and it uh, it was it's it's a Canadian TV show. So for someone in America to know yeah, it, yeah, but it's on Amazon Prime now. But at the time, yeah. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. No. So that was like you 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 unlocked something where I yeah. Was so like, I, had, oh. I I used to get a I had a VPN to get to be in Canada to watch Thank Mr. D you. on <laughs> Canada YouTube. That's how, on uh, Netflix. Dude, it's like you had like a ghost face killer like random like tape CD. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, it was Dude. like this thing and uh, unlocked so, it, bro. So, I mean, I think you, that's so beautiful. I remember you told me that and it yeah. did warm my heart. Yeah. Um, now the worst bomb I've ever done, there's like many, but there was, <laughs> it's like a lot. There was this, Oh, this guy I felt bad for this guy, but he was right. It was like in Thunder Bay, mm. it's in in Canada. It's like you was know, that crickets? No, this is before crickets. Okay, there was this magician comic who owned this like it was above like it was called Helsinki's. It was like okay. above like a Polish maybe restaurant. Comedy and, clubs in Thunder Bay are above something or below something. <laughs> <laughs> I swear Man, to you God, know so much about Canada. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. I'm sweating. But like, he knows us very well. Like, yeah. And because you work, you work there, mm -hmm. and uh, it was like four shows, two hundred people maybe each show. The wife had taken it over, mm -hmm. so she was booking. Very sweet lady, and um, I, I knew some Thunder Bay people. And uh, one of the shows, I, the guy heckled like I, I heard a heckle, and I go, "What'd you say, man?" And then he didn't say anything. And then after, a friend of mine came up. He goes, um, "Yeah, man, I, I took care of it." I go, took care of what? He goes, <laughs> it was that heckler. I was like, he was during the show, he went up to him. He goes, hey, man, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he didn't have to do that. No, but he took he care of it. Quiet. Yeah. I didn't know why he went quiet. But that same, like, I think weekend or that same, the next show, I'm, I pick an audience member to riff with, and it goes horribly mm -hmm. wrong. This is before TikTok and clips. Like, yeah. this clip would have probably done something or nothing so like i'm making <laughs> we're going and I, halfway through i go hey man i don't think this is you can stop talking to me i mm -hmm. think we're both bombing together <laughs> we're both bombed yeah. i i'm not uh, doing good as a comedian and I, in midway through there was like a a healer type lady mm -hmm. i found out who does yoga um so the at I, 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 last five minutes this guy's sitting in at a table with another guy his buddy just he's quiet like for the whole for like at least 30, 25 minutes he just goes for the love of God, can you tell a fucking joke? <laughs> and he kept saying that for a minute straight. Oh, wow. For the love of God, God. And his buddy goes, Bob, relax. And his buddy just <laughs> fucked off. <laughs> and then the healer lady or yoga lady got on stage. I didn't even know if she got on stage. She goes, do you need a hug? It was no, wow, that is, from both that is sides. A, that's a cosmic bomb. And then I, yeah, and then I, yeah. Did a, I did a joke and it bombed. <laughs> And I go, I go, there you go, man. Were you? <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work, Nothing bro. is yeah. working. Yeah. Uh, what is something that a lot of people love but you just don't get? Um, friends. I don't get friends. I don't get why people like that show, Friends. You even made a face when I said that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really don't. I don't really. I never really got into it. That's it. Oh, that's, that's, uh, I didn't watch a lot of Friends. Mm -hmm. I understand why people get it, but I didn't watch full. I was, I, yeah, I was more Martin. Yeah, Martin, that's yeah. the best shit, but. I mean, something. I mean, this is like Detroit area, too, so. Of, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just watched a, a Jerome clip. Remember the character oh, Jerome? Oh, it's great. 
I guess I wanted to say, nah, um, what's the Kelsey grammar? Frazier? But I, I think I got it, but I did. That's like in the, in the it's like. I did you watch Cheers, though? I did. Not okay. fully. Not fully. Not fully. Okay. Yeah. I guess um, anchovies, is that? But I started eating anchovies. I, I, I don't. <laughs> okay. One more. One more. Shorts, uh, those in the gym where you wear shorts and then the leg, long leg ones. I just don't understand. Oh, the that. tights. The, yeah, with the, the, shorts, the shorts, though. Oh, the combo. So that I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't get that either. Yeah. But you see that a lot in gyms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? The ability to not gain weight. I think, I think that, I think that's like a, a superpower that no one ever talks about. Like if you could just eat what you want. Even if I stay my same size, if I could just say, like, you're the same size, you never will gain weight, that that would be what I want. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a great thought. <laughs> I was, mine is just, like, a not to compare myself to, to other people. Yeah, that would no. be, like, so. Uh, what is one thing that people wouldn't believe was true about you? I used to be a tap dancer. That's sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the guy? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, bring, yeah, bring, bring, bring in the noise. Sick. Yeah, so for sick. for a, uh, a long time in my youth, oh. uh, I was a tap dancer, and I thought I was gonna be Savion Glover, but those days are over. So. That's so yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. Again, I have. I was just gonna say, uh, I can't swim. I don't know why that's not yeah. even who would. You can't swim. No, no. But people always respond that way. But I don't know if I give off a vibe or that I that I played sports. Why people can't believe that you they play sports? They just go, oh, for real? <laughs> Their <laughs> energy is What weird. sports? Soccer. Soccer, okay, yeah. Yeah. That's not like a... I mean, it, you don't look like you couldn't be a soccer player. It's just their energy, I guess. Okay. I, I guess because, like, maybe they've seen me operate for at least okay. 30 minutes around them, and it's just the energy. <laughs> it's not, uh, oh, I can't believe it's like, oh, like, there's no, like... It doesn't seem positive. Did you never, like, take a swim class, though? Back to the swim, man. My dad's the only... One in our family knows how to okay, swim. Yeah. So I figured maybe it's because if we're ever on a ship, he can escape. Okay. <laughs> That's what I used to think. And yeah. at one time, there was like the school took us to Yogi Bear Park. It was like in our hometown. Okay. And this is a dumb reason not to swim is that I jumped in the water. The water got in my mouth. And you're traumatized. And I came it. up and I went, <gasps> and I did that sound. Yeah. And I just said, you never, never again. Never yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I remember yeah. saying never again. Yeah, I learned as a kid, my mom wanted to make sure that we knew because she wasn't allowed to here in america like she went to school uh in the south in tuscaloosa and they were like no black people can swim what yeah they weren't allowed to swim in the pool so that's why like that stereotype came from so my mom wanted to make sure that we could swim and my i don't even think my parents can swim now they they knew and they lost it no they don't they never they was never. able to but they, they wanted they to make sure you in the water or no I, we lessons? took like i had like proper oh, thank God. lessons like we went to like a school and we had to learn how to swim part of our like pe that's it, because I don't like when they go just throw you in. No, that's, no, that's yeah. And we're, my daughter is taking swim lessons now. It's very expensive, but gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, a minute. when did uh, you, how how old's your daughter? Two years old tomorrow. You so you congratulate you. Wait, uh, yeah, that's the last time I yeah. saw you. You yeah. didn't have a. Daughter. I didn't know. Yeah, last time you see me. Did you have long a, time? It's been a long time. Did you have a partner? Yeah, at the time. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, and that's who the the mm -hmm. child. Okay, congratulations. Mm -hmm. No. Like a side interview? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long time no see. Yeah. It turns into my a podcast of mine. <laughs> so how have you changed since you've been a father? Bro? He's like, hey, man, this is my podcast, dude. I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, what do you wish you had more time for? <sighs> sleep. I wish I had more time to sleep. Like, yeah, because no matter when you go to sleep, you always have to wake up at the same time. For me, being a, being a dad. So I wish I had more time to sleep. Cause it's like long nights and early mornings. So, I think if I had more time just to see my nieces grow up fully, mm. like if I knew I could see them fully grow up. Uh, How old are they? One's nineteen, eight, I believe, ten, and then one's under one. Okay, like so just you, to, like variant ages. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what inedible thing do you wish you could eat? That's. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's a good question. Plastic bo water bottles. That way we wouldn't have as many in the ocean. That's a, that's better than what I'm gonna say. I'm so stupid. I was gonna say like you know, you know when you get like a, a falafel in a wrap, like there's the plastic. Yeah. I could eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to waste my I mean, time. I mean that's what that's that's, that's controlling okay. waste. Okay. That's good. That's good. 
uh, biggest differences between the L.A. and New York stand-up scene? Uh, I mean, they both think they're better than each other. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's more opportunities for... I think like there's more opportunities for shows in New York, but at the top, top, I think New, New LA's higher as far as like star power. I think the star power is higher in New York. Yeah. I mean, in, in Los Angeles, but the quality of show is higher in New York. If that makes sense. Yeah, like this is like very top heavy mm -hmm. here in LA. Like you can do shows with celebrity, like full on legitimate celebrities all the time. And then you can also just be at a bar in the fucking valley. You know what I mean? So, but like in New York at its base, you could do high quality shows yeah. at a bar in, in Bushwick and it'd be like real people there to see. And I think that's a, my, my, for me, being a comic, being in both places. Yeah, I feel like New York, everyone has notepads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a backpack. Yeah, like backpack. the backpack's been through it with them. <laughs> like it's like it feels yeah, like. Yeah, because they can't leave shit in the car. Everyone's on, on the fucking <laughs> yeah. public transport. And it, it feels I never could. I never do enough there. I'm like, oh man, like you know, someone's done like 69 sh or 75 shows. In the yeah, and that's yeah. the thing where like you've been in New York and be like, yeah, I was in New York for like a week. Like, how many times you got up? Like, I went one, once up, once a, once a night. They're like, once a night, man. You, should, <laughs> you gotta do seven shows a night in New York, dog. Seven shows. Yeah, you're not doing it. I know. Like, 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 or I you did seven shows. Like, ugh. you didn't get attacked by a rat. Like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, and I, I agree with you on all the same things. Yeah. It's like there's, but it's yeah. I feel like there's, um, it feels like I'm in a documentary when I'm in New York all the time mm -hmm. because you're just going from set to set, show to yeah. show, and then like you feel like a camera crew should be following you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you get to like hang out. You your nights are are could. Like you could have a set plan and mm -hmm. then it kind of all changes. Yeah. And you end up at three in the morning at some diner in, in like Brooklyn somewhere. Whereas here it's. Yeah. And that's the thing, like in New York, like I've been in shows and like gone up at like 145. And that would never happen here in LA. No. no. They'd want it because yeah. people. Like, why the fuck? Yeah. Sleep, I guess, or have backyards. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves their backyards here. <laughs> Come to my backyard. I go, ah, I this thing that people don't want to be at home because. Their spaces are so small, so they want to be out as much as they possibly can. That I believe, and it's just like a lot of action out there. Yeah, like you go out, and it's just like easier to like. If I left wherever I'm staying in New York, I can walk 15 blocks. Yeah, because so when you're out, it's hard to. And for me being in New York, when like when I leave for that day, I'm gone yeah, for the same, day. I, yeah, you don't come back into it. Here, you're like, I got a. I think. I w it just I guess it's I don't want to complain about the traffic, but it just feels like if I went to like a dry cleaner, it felt like I put in three days. Yeah, here. yeah. And then you're just exhausted, and then you come back, you're like, well, I'm not going. Back I'm not out going there. back outside. <laughs> nope, I'm not. Uh, what's the dumbest thing someone said to you after a show? Um. Wow, there's been so many times. Yeah. It's just yeah. Oh, this recently this this lady I was doing a fundraiser. And I had mentioned uh, something about like, thank I thanked all the rich white people for donating to the fundraiser. And this lady took offense to that. She goes, "You shouldn't." She came up to me. She goes, she, "You shouldn't try to make white people feel bad for having money to donate." I go, "I did. I just said <laughs> I want to thank all the rich white people." And there's literally rich white people here donating to. I'm like, and then she goes, "Well, I came from nothing. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest." <laughs> I grew up with Sir Mix a Lot. And I was what? like, yes. She name dropped Sir, Sir Mix a Lot. Okay. And I was like, lady, if this is your way of trying to tell me the Sir Mix -a -Lot. that you have street clay, I was like, are you part of the posse? Like, <laughs> is your, are you on Broadway with Sir Mix a Lot? Like, she had no back. She did not, her ass was flat. Um, but yeah, that was like, that was, that happens. I mean, and for me, it happens a lot where like, there's always like an older white woman. That's coming up to complain, or like a a, a middle aged white man that's like wants to talk to me and show that he's cool. Yeah. And I'm like, he's gonna drop the N word soon. He's gonna drop it. He's gonna say he got black friends, and like his friend said. And uh, there's another time in Florida where, um, like, I've been paying my nails recently uh, in so solidarity with my nephew because he was getting bullied. And the guy was up there. He goes, man. He came out the street. He goes, man. He was funny, but. Why don't you explain those nails? And I go, why? Well, he goes, you talked about having a having a wife and a kid, but like, why didn't you explain those nails? And I was like, I don't, I didn't have to explain my nails. Like he was just so baffled. He didn't but, understand why he had a wife and kids. Yeah, yeah. It, had, it had fingernails painted. Yeah, it, it was just out of his 
realm of possibilities. I had like I painted like these two mm -hmm. black, and I was in like um, my friend's kid was like, uh, "Did you uh, did you did your hands get caught in the door?" <laughs> and I go, "Excuse me." <laughs> Because he thought you had the black marks from him. Okay, wow. I go, okay, uh, you send in shots. But um, I guess the dumbest thing was it was in Halifax, Canada. I had spoken, I mean, maybe it's not the dumbest. I had spoken, I brought up that I was Lebanese at least two times, mm -hmm. maybe more. And then after these girls were like, they wanted, one of them was like, hey, can you take a picture with our friend? She's Syrian like you, or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I'm not even going to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took the picture. I go, you're, you're just a guy who's just like, fuck Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I go, and I looked, and they were like younger. Like they were probably in their 20s, like oh, bubbly. I was like, yeah. am I going to go? The uh, I'm yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here, it. whatever yeah. you want me to be. Um, do you remember the first time you both met? Yeah, I feel like it had to be like seven, six or seven years ago. Yeah, but it was at... Was it in Detroit or was it here? No, it was here. It was, it here. was here, okay. Then I found out you are from Detroit. Yes. Was it through uh, Laura? Probably was through Laura. Or was it through Paul? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was, no, because after it, it was... I think we... I thought we were, were on the same show at the West Side. Maybe, yes. Yes, that was it. Cause that's where like, I would always see you as like well. Like seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It was like when I first probably moved here, and I was living with Laura at the time. So this is after. Yeah. And then yeah, that's that's. Uh, and then Paul, I didn't know Paul was from Michigan until I met him in 2018. Okay. Because well. I from Windsor, which is on the border of Detroit. It's actually south of Detroit. So when he says in Journey from South Detroit, so people. Windsor. But you know, but people in America think that it's like it's like when you if you cross over, there's like four hours till you get to no, like, no, yeah. They don't know that it's like literally. It's a like, body of water, the Detroit River. So like, yeah. this is Michigan, and then Windsor is here, on the other side of the water. So it's actually south, directly due south of Detroit. Yeah, but but you you explain that like helps because people are like, uh, how close? Like <laughs> I'd be like, I go to Detroit all the time. They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> How? There's a bridge <laughs> called the Ambassador Bridge, and there's a tunnel that tunnel. you can take. Yeah. They should know that too because Eminem showed the bridge. Yeah, remember? the Ambassador it's, Bridge. People don't still. Yeah, I, I, I've taken a U-turn on that bridge before. I think I have too. Yeah, I saw a guy take a at the tunnel. I saw I was dealing with a custom guy, and he's like being aggressive. Yeah. This is like after 9/11, and he was like passport, and then I don't know where he chucks. He goes fuck, and he threw the my stuff at me, and uh -huh. it hit me in the face. I go, what happened? And then I guess somebody was doing a U turn to go back into the tunnel. Oh yeah, <laughs> back to Canada. Yeah, you can't do that. I, they probably had drugs or yeah, something. Yeah, or something. <laughs> we we took a U turn uh, on the Ambassador Bridge because my friend had got a text message that uh, one of his friends had had like they were like, all oh, those girls that were at the club, they're they're with us now. And we we're like, okay, I guess we'll commit Eat an international. Windsor? No, we were on our way to, to Detroit. We were in Windsor. Yeah, yeah, you were going to go we, back to Windsor. And we were on our way to Detroit, and then we took a U-turn on the bridge. And as we <laughs> as we did it, I was like, this is not a good idea. And then, like, you get to the customs thing. I'm like, they're going to see we just left 10 minutes ago, and this is not going to fucking. <laughs> to you guys, you're like, oh, but that's crazy. No, 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 saw no somebody no, do that? No, <laughs> that's an international crime. <laughs> like, if you're in your car and you saw somebody <laughs> reverse, you'd be like, Okay, yeah. or something like you're gonna because there's no barrier. There, there's no barriers. No. It's just a, it's just a double line, and we fucking. Yeah. I love it though. Yeah. I love I love Detroit. I don't know how to explain it. To be. It's like a city that is unique, like you, you yeah. it has its own thing. Like you go to other places, and I feel in America, and it's just yeah. And I feel thing. like people from the area is very they're very, we're very loyal to our area. Um, and now I mean it's a little different now than when I grew up because uh, gentrification, but. Yeah, the downtown Detroit. I yeah, went back and yeah. there's like a Gucci store. It's yeah. like fucking nuts. Yeah, I used to run to my car. Yeah. <laughs> from B's Comedy Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you hey. just see white ladies running. And you're like, what the fuck are you here? Why they used are you to, here? They used to call, they'd, they'd, yeah. they'd be like, yeah, hey, it's that white boy from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, who makes you laugh the hardest? Um, who makes me laugh the hardest? Patrice O'Neill. I know like a lot Jeez. of comics are into him. Yeah. Now, but I've been into him for a long time. But he make yeah, he makes me laugh the hardest. Like I, I like I've never laughed before. Yeah. Uh yeah, Mike Epps. Yeah, Mike Epps is pretty funny. Mike Epps, I can't yeah. like I, 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 I any time of the day. Yeah. I you know where he 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 was. You ever see um, white people get when they get pulled over by the cops? That 
they get out of the car, the, the doors close at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like the white person's car and the cop car. Yeah, because they're, yeah, they're ready. Goes, you, is there a reason you pulled me <laughs> over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Dude, he's by far. When he said um, they arrested, he goes, man, they've been arresting celebrities left and right. He goes, they caught James Brown looking like a Thundercat. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Because he did look like a Thundercat. Have you ever seen... This is where you put up the James Brown mugshot picture right now, right right in front of it. He's like, hey. Yeah, he laughed for five years. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, by, I think he's the funniest... He's up like, of a club in Detroit. He is? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Mike Epps. That would be I like... It's called One Mike. That's the name of it. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I saw him once at the Laugh Factory, and I couldn't turn around. Yeah. I looked, and I just kind of was like, I can't. Yeah, because he's so funny. <laughs> it was like, he's he's the guy. Uh, worst fad you were into? Fad? Um, oof. I was in a Blackberry big time. I thought I was fucking. A <laughs> I, was, I had a Blackberry and then wasn't setting up no meetings. <laughs> Blackberry <laughs> with no meetings. Yeah, like, dark yeah, time. yeah. Like, like a bad time. Why the fuck do I have a Blackberry? <laughs> I don't have no meetings. I don't have nothing on my schedule. Was it the slide one or no? No, I had the fucking, like, the the center thing where oh, it's like, wow. yeah, yeah. You had, like, a, basically a laptop. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. You fucking typing on it. Yeah. But no meanness. BBN, man. <laughs> that number. I guess fedora and skinny pants. Ooh. I went, I went uh, fedora. Yeah, different era. I did fedora. <laughs> I remember I started wearing fedoras because I realized I was wearing fedoras too much. That's a good question. When I had a hoodie on and was wearing a fedora, and my friend was like, what the fuck? That is not anatomically correct. You sound crazy saying that out loud. I'm like, what? I've never, I think someone would explode. Yeah, the, like, yeah. that's not. I had a hoodie and a fedora, and he roasted me so much, and I stopped, I stopped doing it. Yeah, I think I got, yeah. and I think bow ties. Oh, you did bow ties. I did bow ties. Did you ever do um, the express shirts? The express shirts with the blazers? No. Yeah. I, I avoided yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. And a lot of it was for girls. Yeah, I that's it. Say, that's yeah. all we did. Uh, yeah. Everything. Like doing And little Wayne. Yeah. I got skinny <laughs> pants because of little Wayne. Yeah. So. Uh, what's the most annoying thing people do in public? Uh, I think when people are doing their, like, their TikToks in public now, that's pretty annoying to me. Like, <laughs> I hate public TikToks. Like, I hate I hate that shit. I hate when someone puts you in their public TikTok. Oh, when, like when they want not, you to like when you, like. Uh, I guess not your. I guess your friends. You know, sometimes yeah. your someone's like, "Hey, let's do this." I go, I go. This is still like you gotta call me before. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want not an impromptu. Let's just shoot some sketches, man. <laughs> let's go on TikTok, bro. Let's do these sketches. Uh, favorite <laughs> restaurants and what makes them so good? Oh. I love Waffle House because yeah. Waffle House, no matter where you go, you're always going to know that it's going to taste delicious. And I had to explain to someone that wherever you're, wherever there's a Waffle House, it's the South. Um, yeah, so I was in Ohio. They were like, this is not the South. I'm like, you guys can open carry. You don't like abortions. You have Waffle House. It's the South. I don't care what anybody <laughs> say. Ohio's the fucking South. But, yeah, Waffle House is one of my favorite places to eat. I'm always excited. To see a waffle house. And I'm glad it's not here because I would eat there every fucking day. I would say it's in Toronto and I'm going to pronounce it wrong. It's a friend's spot, Terraz, Terraza. What kind of food is it? It's Italian. Okay. Pasta. But it's his name, he's Frankie Lasagna. Frankie Lasagna. <laughs> so then when you get in there, it's, it's not like, like a Simpsons character. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He kind of makes fun of me and it okay. feels like I'm in, I'm in like, uh, like in a movie almost. What's like your go to it, pasta? Oh, I mean, now it's just like penne with no meat because I don't eat meat oh, anymore. Oh, you're vegetarian? Or pescatarian. Oh, pescatarian. So then okay. I, that would be it. But he kind of sits down like if you bring a guest, he'd be like, hey, you know Dave? Like he does these jokes. <laughs> so it feels like you're, you've are you known him for 30 years yeah. and you have steak in the plate. Like okay. It, if, yeah. It makes you feel like home. It reminds you of the Goodfellas scene yeah. when Ray comes yeah. in. This is Tony. This is Tony <laughs> Tulip. <laughs> he does not want to fuck with but it's not. It's yeah. me going. Uh, they they got that painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love. Oh, I love an Italian restaurant too. Uh, what is something you wish other comedians would stop doing? Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> just stop doing comedy. It does get like that sometimes, where you're like, "Can we just stop? Yeah, can we just stop. Reset? Can we like, reset? Just, like, just like really, just stop." I I always I made a joke that said if. If Thanos killed half the world, there would still be too many comedians in Los Angeles. <laughs> and, so 
That is the truth, bro. Like, there was this one girl was like <laughs> mentioning something, and she was like, Oh, yeah, I've, I've been, I was talking to her. She was like, Oh, yeah, I'm a comedian too. And I go, How long have you been doing comedy? She goes, Well, I've gone up like five times in five months. And I go, You're not a fucking comedian. And that's where we have the one thing where, like, if someone does it once or twice, they think that they are that. Yeah. Like, if you blow out a candle, that doesn't make you a fucking firefighter. Like, that is, <laughs> that is like, it's, we're the only, like, people don't play guitar <laughs> twice and be like, I'm a guitarist. But we, we get so disrespected because it's so accessible now because people see it on the internet and shit. I think even before that, I mean, this could be not a good theory is like, you know, you you always hear someone go, oh, you know, my friend at the office is funny. Yeah. So I, I think it, currency-wise, it doesn't look like, when you can say that, mm -hmm. it's not like, you know, someone's like, oh, my friend at the office is a violinist. Yeah. It's, do you know what I mean? So it's like comedy just be, doesn't become like that. Because so humor is, is so innate in everybody. Yeah, so yeah. then the guy at the office or the girl at the office is like, yeah, I could do whatever the fuck you do. Yeah. And then that, so that's why I feel like th they get the they're brave as audience members. Mm -hmm. Cause they're even watching you. They're like, "This doesn't." <laughs> <laughs> Becky makes me laugh by the the water cooler. Yeah. I was like, "What are you talking about, your dad?" Like, yeah. and, and that's what annoys that and like the idea that like your plumber has a podcast. Yeah, like easily the plumber could be just have a podcast. Yeah, and yeah. can can start like selling out the, the Wiltern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like five yeah. months from now. You're like, like Jim? Obvious. He goes, Yeah, man, you wanna come? Yeah. You're like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> He'll have you open for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what do you think com comedians should stop doing? Like, oh, what they uh fuck that's I mean the, the, that's a it sounds like if I'm gonna say something, it's gonna sound like not hater, but like almost like aggressive. But I don't um Don't say it. That's why we're here. There's no wrong answers. Um, I guess like if it's like your the intention of, like having an like just not an intention of like followers maybe mm -hmm. like the like you're just not throwing stuff okay. out kind of thing if it's like it gets more I'm not saying I'm doing this as well like I'm not trying to sound like an artist or anything like yeah. that but like just the the intention well yeah the intention behind you know, it sometimes yeah 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 like yeah, it's yeah. Like, we'll so just do this now or we're just posting this or we're doing this well or, I'm gonna go in here and I tell people I like I understand because you you go to these shows now and it'll be a setup like this or it always looks like a press conference <laughs> where there's like so many fucking cameras in the back of the room because. All the comedians want to record their sets. and, and Yeah, and I, yeah. I started to fall victim to that, yeah. too. And I remember posting something, and I'm like, is this even fucking good? <laughs> like, I legit are, looked at my phone. I go, Are you I, just posting it just to post? Yeah, I go, what the fuck are you doing? Like, mm. I was talking to myself. I go, oh, I think I'm getting caught in that. Yeah. And, I got to get I gotta get this content out. I and there's nothing this. wrong with, yeah. like, trying to yeah. build your own way and get followers and, and, and feeding yourself and your family. But it's like sometimes, I guess I'm speaking to myself. I wish I could stop doing. Yeah is like just being more um authentic yeah and caring about like you know it's like you're putting together a project you know when you mm -hmm. put together a project like you just you i want to not trying to do the cliff notes yeah you, you just want to curate something like curate the novel it, i realized that me putting out stuff i'm like oh man i'm what am i doing but yeah. i remember back in the day if someone showed up with a camera when you're doing comedy you're like oh look at big shot i know <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with that yeah, yeah. That, you get like that, a whole setup. Yeah. You like, know the sound's gonna be <laughs> shitty on that, right? You, you get like ruined. Yeah. Like, oh. oh, you got a rich dad. Yeah. <laughs> now I. Oh, dude, I hate lapel guy now. Oh my god. So, I hate fucking lapel guy. But dude, lapel back mic in the day, guy. Yeah. You you brought a camera. That's mm -hmm. fucking, you mean business. You'd have to call the club ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, dude, can I bring it? And then they're like, oh, we got to take out a table. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fuck. And then the whole time someone's like standing right in front of it. <laughs> oh, you hear the waitress taking somebody's order. That was always my favorite. You get his tape and it's like this lady's like, all right, what do you want on your fucking sandwich? Like, well, no, I want no cheese. No, or, you, or bro, someone walks over the camera and goes, what the fuck is Dave recording? <laughs> I know. Like, oh, fuck, I knew he hated me. I knew he didn't like my comedy. Yeah, I have evidence. Oh, yeah. uh, if when you died you were put into a room for eternity with people who died the same way, how would you want to die? Um, natural causes. <laughs> Drug overdose. Like a like an, I, I don't even know how, how this makes no sense, but something that's not gonna hurt me, I guess. No, but like you have to be so if, and when I die, yeah. I want I'll be in a room with the people that died the same way. Uh -huh. Natural causes. 
Oh, yeah, drug over. We all did a drug over, though, so. Yeah. And you guys... Is that bad? <laughs> no. And you're going to spend eternity with the with the drug under... The drug... Overdose people. Yeah, but if they're my friends, they'll be fine. Well, yeah, they... Yeah. But, I mean, no. I mean, you, you have a lot of celebrities in your fucking circle. <laughs> <laughs> that would Wait be fun. Are we recurring, constantly dying of a drug overdose? If no, I die no, 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 no. When oh. you die... Yeah. You go to a place, and there's people that died exactly like you. Yeah, then it would be... Yeah, I'd have to find... I, well, I got to realize which friends of mine are drug addicts. Fuck. I don't. They yeah. might not even be your friends. You make new friends because you got to be. You better. You're gonna be there forever. So <laughs> you know what? I'll stick with drug. Yeah, <laughs> not that builds character. Yeah, it does. Whoever, it does. It whoever, does. There's gonna be a story. There'll be some young people. I'll be with a bunch of old fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like took their dad's business yeah, yeah, threw yeah. It under the. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, cool story, man. Mm-hmm. Now we're here to forever. Uh, what do you think everyone should try once? Oof. Uh, which everyone should try once. Mushrooms. Like magic mushrooms. Uh, I was going to say the donut by where I live. <laughs> 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 but also ube pie. Ube pie? Yeah. Where's, where do you get ube pie from? You can get it on Sunset. Okay. Like right in... Um, is ube the purple yeah. sweet potato? Yeah, okay. yams is it? Yeah. I th- yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's right where... Is it Los... Glo- not Los... There's that bar, that nightclub, and then when you do the bend... Okay. Into, is into it Mohawk Sun- Bend? No, it's way I think before. Okay. Yeah. So All it's right. it's it's store that specifically I think sells ube pie. Ube pie. I got to try that. What job would you be terrible at? Ooh. Policeman. I'd be an awful cop. <laughs> I, I would be the worst cop. Would you? Would you like? I would steal. Okay. I would. That's my. I favorite. would steal yeah. drug money. I would. <laughs> I would not be a good policeman. I mean, I wouldn't like. And then like. I wouldn't want to ruin someone's day. Like I would pull somebody over and be like, "Yo, bro, slow down." Like, like I just like I wouldn't, like, cause yeah, I would be an awful. I would, I would, ab- and that's why I understand how some police people abuse power because you're, you know, you're so powerful. Getting the gun makes you powerful. It, yeah. And when you can legally like use it, but yeah, I would steal so much fucking. I would be Denzel Washington. In I would. Day. I, I would like. Um, I would just buddy up with every, you know, like Seven Eleven, and so that they give me free shit. Yeah, because that's what I. Whenever I see cops doing that, I go, "You fucking yeah, fucks." Cops get everything for free. You're getting free Slurpees all the time. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, uh, what worst job? Yeah. I mean, I've done them. Pro- I'm that I'm bad at. I remember being like, uh, "What are the, where you brew beer?" A brewmaster? Or or yeah, I just worked at a brewery, and they were like, I had to like fill the kegs and do all that. And I think by day three, the guy goes, or I mean, maybe the first day, he goes, I go, man, do these ever fall on you? He goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we went, oh, yeah. He goes, foot injury. He, like, pointed at his foot. I go, you know what, man, I'm good. Are you good? <laughs> I would have killed myself. Yeah. I would have been, uh, yeah, I would have I, I would have sucked. Uh, overrated, underrated cities to perform in? Ooh. That's tough. Yeah. Overrated, underrated. Uh, I think for me, underrated. Seattle's pretty underrated for me. Um, overrated, New York is overrated, I think. If you look at, like, everything. And Los Angeles, too. Being here, like, people think that you can come here and just make it. And I think a lot of times it also pisses me off with comics. Is like, if you start comedy here, I start comedy here. And then, like, you'll go other places. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know so-and-so, they're an L.A. comic. And I'm like... No, they're they just they're not even no they live here, and they they do they're not a L A comic because it hold, it hold it used to hold weight we're like oh this guy's coming yeah, from yeah. L A you know what I mean so, but yeah I think the two major cities are overrated New York and Los Angeles and underrated for me is Seattle but my favorite place to do comedy is Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah. Chicago I, I I would say Chicago I love Toronto but I mean that's maybe bias um, and. Um, Halifax in Canada for sure, but um, over or over, I guess LA in a sense that because like I have friends too. I I just I guess like Canadians would comics would they haven't I mean they they wouldn't know they have the idea of mm-hmm. what LA is gonna be. Yeah, I think that it's like over hyped maybe yeah. in their head, which is isn't a fault. You know, you're watching Instagram pages and you're mm-hmm. like, so I think that sometimes to see that you're like, and I think when you come into LA from out of uh, another place. And you see celebrities 
all the time. Yeah. But like we see celebrities all the time. Yeah, you're so just... it's just like, yeah, this guy's, yeah, he's gonna do the same shit he's been doing for like <laughs> the, the, the last fucking year and a half. And everybody, paper I know, but everyone's, guy, yeah. but everyone's excited. Like, oh yeah, I'm working on this new joke. Like, no, that's not a fucking new joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's not a new joke. You've yeah. been working on this, but my, you know, my friends come in town, and they, you know, and, and that's what a lot of things like people see them on lineups with all these. Celebrities went, man, you're killing it out there. I go, I made $50. <laughs> <laughs> you, po you post man, that you're at the improv yeah, of the store, yeah, everyone yeah. back home yeah. is just like, you're getting phone Keep calls. Keep killing it, dog. <laughs> Keep killing it. Like, I remember I posted like, hey, man, I think uh, like I got this role. And then at light work, maybe somebody. And yeah. I remember I was like, oh, I did a show at the store. I got fucking messages. Hey, man, you did it. And I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, man, and it's, I mean, but it's I'm like... not even a paid regular. Yeah. Oh, I put the show on. <laughs> yeah, I lost $3,000. <laughs> yeah, because I, mean, I had to pay. Yeah, I ate 150 bucks. <laughs> I had to pay for parking. Yeah. <laughs> Where but, was it? I went to the west side, and I was like, I did the wrong parking garage, maybe yeah. the right one. And I walked out, and I was like, I, I he, you know, he, like, I was like a $20... Yeah for the spot and I walked out and I put the, the, the ticket in and it shot back out twenty eight dollars. <laughs> my minus eight? You have minus eight, bro. You lose a lot of money doing comedy in Los Angeles, bro. Minus eight. I yeah. go fuck <laughs> I did it. Yeah, you can take an Uber. Your Uber costs forty dollars <laughs> to get ten dollars and some chicken wings. <laughs> they used to give you chicken wings. Yeah. I, I think, think they're holding back. I think see for me, I think like I think more people see more people will buy you drinks, but they won't buy you food. No, that's, that's people in general. Because like, do you think the clubs let up too on giving yeah, you food? Though. Yeah. Remember they used to give you. Like, they should. They should. They should yeah. have like a platter. <laughs> One thing I like about there's a there's a club called the Crow, and every time you go, she has pizza and she has like a charcuterie board for you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. When you also go to the comedy club and the staff is nice. Yeah. You're like, oh, they said they didn't. They, th that shouldn't be a thing. No, you shouldn't yeah. walk out being like, man, the staff was yeah. was actually nice. And I think a lot of times the staff just get used to comics being like awful to them too. So, yeah, yeah. It's got a tip. Uh, you have to eat ten pounds of any food in one sitting. What do you eat? Ooh, ten pounds. That is a lot. Sixteen hundred ounces. Let's see. Of food. Show me what's that diagram size. Is that like it? Like 10 pounds. Like, it depends on what it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're right then. 10 pounds and 10 pounds. It's, that's a lot. So you have to finish it? Yeah. How much time? Is this a hyper It's one sitting. It can take one... as long as possible, but you have to sit down and then you have to deal with it. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. That or like uh, Parmesan cheese sticks? Am I saying that right? What? You oh, mean like mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella. <laughs> uh, che string cheese. <laughs> or su no, sushi would kill me. I would die. Yeah, I would say that. that. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. What's... Nothing with cheese. <laughs> uh, what's something you're sick of having to explain? Um, uh, I, I get tired when people ask me if I'm a writer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Like... like like if you're at a show and someone goes, "Do you write as well?" or they just go, "Hey, are you a writer?" Like, like do you write? Oh. I hate when like, "Do you write?" And I'm like, "I wrote all that shit you saw me <laughs> perform." I know, oh, like, like, like you think like they do that. They're like, they, you know, for me, when someone goes, "Did you write?" I go, "Yeah, I, no, yeah." So for me, yeah. it's, it's all act outs yeah. and performance based. So I can but you still wrote going, that. You? That's still you. Your brain fucking. But I could see sometimes like. Um, I remember a long time ago, I, I I wrote a set. It was early on. I did a half hour at a college with two other comics, and and the booker wrote the college wrote a letter to the main comic who brought us, mm -hmm. and about how he was he was not pleased with the show. And then he goes, and then that guy, he wrote my name. He goes, this guy goes up and just fucking improvises, <laughs> thirty minutes, doesn't give us any material, and we're all looking at the paper. I and, and I go, I wrote that. <laughs> That's how bad my writing was. <laughs> Dude, a full paragraph why he was so mad. About, about you improv it. I was like, You're giving us no, be bebop comedy. <laughs> Ski -be 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 bop. All improvised. But no, I think I, I hate when people ask, like, they ask me, like, oh, was that just all improv? Or like, do you, like, do you just, that's just off the top of your dome? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. But like, it takes years and years to develop who you are as a comedian. Yeah. 
And sometimes some shit magic happens, but most of the time it's all calculated. And people don't understand, like, we're like musicians where it's like, we all know, like a set list. We all know yeah. where, like, what our jokes are, what they're called, how we're going to get to it. You know, there's different ways to get to different jokes. And I think people just aren't, like, abreast of this, like, how this whole process works. So, yeah, so they I ask agree. these dumbass questions, like, do you write yeah. after they see you before something you've written? They should be more well informed. Yeah. If you could recast one of your favorite movies with comedians, who would be in it now? Ooh. That's a good question. That's a that's a that's a tough question. Yeah. Like to remake the movie? Yeah. To remake yeah, the movie? It's, think it's the same exact movie, but they just recasted it. Oh, okay. So like what when they tried to do a house party. Um, oh yeah. Uh <laughs> uh I would love to see I would love to, I would love to see a black Batman. That'd be sick. Like I would love to see a black comedian play Bruce Wayne. Like who who what black comedian could be Bruce Wayne? I'm trying to think. Who, who which black comedian? Could be? Kevin. Well, Kevin Hart is Bruce Wayne. No. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I would I would. Uh... I mean, he's not a comedian, but Mahershala. Mahershala as Batman. Oh, that would be dope. I mean, yeah. Have to, yeah. Yeah. But it has to be a comedian. He, he has yes. to be a comedian, though. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, Mahershala got jokes. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Foxx is Batman. Jamie Foxx. There you go. But he's yeah. 50, but Jamie Foxx is Batman. But I wasn't, what's his name, the first Batman? Old, uh, no, um, Michael Keaton was a comedian. He, he was older, no? Or he was. He was in, like 39. Oh, I thought he was like in his 40s, but that. No, yeah. I mean, 39 is 40s. But, yeah, yeah, you're right. But he also was a comedian. Yes, people don't. I feel yeah. a lot of people don't know. His that. name was Michael Douglas. Oh, I didn't know and that. I we, know he did the bazooka joke. And then we, when he got into the union, he changed it to, to Keaton because <laughs> Diane Keaton was his favorite actress. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't have a good fact at all. No, but who's your who's your answer? <laughs> to like a show um, to recreate. It's either like the, the Big Lebowski. Oh, okay. Or who? like the. Um, I don't know why I, I think Sebastian Maniscal would, would as, be a, as the Big Lebowski, but just his version. His version, like, <laughs> I get a, <laughs> just can I get a white Russian? <laughs> <laughs> it's take, taking too long to make. <laughs> I think that would, or if you did Goodfellas and you just casted comedians. Oh yeah, like all those scenes, I think would, because I rewatched Goodfellas in the theaters, mm -hmm. and for some odd reason, my perspective of it was a comedy. And it was the, one of the funniest things I've ever okay. seen. If you watch it in, as a non-gangster movie, go back and watch it. Because your brain is different now. Yeah. Than when you saw so you're what, like the whole scene where he, they bring the dead body and yeah. they're leaving. And she's like, but I cooked food. And just, <laughs> <laughs> come on, we got to Come on, we got to go. We got to get the body out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> uh, you just won a billion dollars. What are you still not buying? Uh, what am I still not buying? Um, I don't know, man. I want a billion dollars. What am I still not buying? A G wagon. That's fine. I love a G wagon, but uh, yeah, I'd say like uh 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 that the Apple Watch and anything from Air One. Air One, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Is anything from that fucking overpriced? Seventeen dollars for a smoothie. A fucking snap. Yeah. And people sell you on it like they're like, oh, it's it's got zinc in it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can go get yeah, zinc pills. It has man. Gold <laughs> sprinkled into it. I'm not going to that. I hate that place. Oh, and I would never go to a salt based restaurant. Salt based? Salt salt bay bays. Oh, that guy that does the thing like that. Yeah, it's all it's all overrated. And like they put gold on the steak. And gold doesn't even have a flavor profile. Like it adds nothing. <laughs> it's just you just it jammed you. Up. It's just you just whipping your dick out. Like yeah, this, look at this. That guy owns the place. He owns the place. And now. he's a chef. He's correct? a chef. Yeah. And then you have to pay more money to have him come over and fucking do that and slice up the meat for you. Oh, I thought he. I thought he just worked there. No, it's his oh, place. It's his yeah. place. Okay. Yeah. I was like, this guy's doing it, man. Yeah. Uh, what changes have improved your life so much you wish you did it sooner? Um. I'd say having a kid, but I mean, I think I don't know if I would be ready. I would have been ready to have a kid sooner, but my my quality of life has definitely changed since I had a kid because, like, I feel like as far as like being in this entertainment field, a lot of things have gone better for me since I had my daughter. But I don't know if it's like her energy or me just like 
I got to make it because I got to feed her. Explain. I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> No, Explain no, that's why that, we're here. It, yeah, the, that's into like in what's like how better like 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 I mean the the things that I've been able to accomplish since I've had my daughter since you had your daughter yeah yeah like I've you know I've done like I you know I hadn't booked a commercial in seventeen years right and then I booked three I booked Holy. three national commercials since I had her and I said everyone was like yeah you killing it man I go I went seventeen years <laughs> 17 between years. bookings for a commercial but now it's just people see and like things that opportunities that I've had and like. That came but, that you you wanted or that just, before that you wanted come around have come that around that I wanted before that are just like these are the opportunities that have presented itself and I don't know if it's just like an energy thing or or thing but do you feel your energy has changed? Though? I feel it has changed. I mean, and for me, it's a little different because I lost my mom and then three months later I found out I was gonna be a dad. So like I lost the most important person in my life to gain the most important person in my life. Oh, wow. So that like that like elevated like everything for me. It's just like. Wow, did, this is... that's what I mean. Did you feel you needed to like get these things um, because you have a child now? No, I just or feel like the just stakes you're... become higher, and your your mentality become higher. That like you got got to focus on on making it because you got to feed this human being that's dependent on you. And you stop. Did you do you feel you stopped caring about like all the stuff, like the minuscule stuff about the industry I think, before? I, like, I think after you had a child, I think that, and also one of the things that my mom told me is, I complained about something, and she was like. Uh, it seems like the doors that are slamming in your face are getting bigger and bigger doors are easier to go through. So that made like everything more open to me. It's like being unplugged from the matrix. Cause like a lot of times we get focused on the, the door. things that, the, the, oh, wow. yeah. But so, did you change your, when you said your work ethic, did you like go out more or like, no, no I, just... I, I just think like the, the idea is like that mindset is like, this is what I need to do. This is the things oh, that's gotcha. going to happen. And Sorry. then everything else just begets. From that, so I just needed to know. I didn't mean to take no, over. No, no this okay. is why we're here. You know, Long time no see. You know, yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen I you. I just wanted to tell you I'm practicing to be in and out to be a uh, interviewer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Uh, therapy, probably. That helps. I was yeah, I was bouncing off the walls too much yeah. mentally and um, like super angry and, and just not dealing with stuff and, and thinking that if I went to therapy, it was like I was going to a police station and confessing. Mm. Like, I'd be like, you know, there was like years and years ago, um, or, or no, 2012, which I, I probably should have went to a therapist, but um, there was this thing in Canada they wanted to do, like a talk show where they mm -hmm. wanted to get entertainers and athletes to talk about mental health mm -hmm. and i remember being with an agency in canada and and one of the the main guys was like i don't know if this is a good thing because it might label you as a mental health community. yeah and i sat with the other person in the company and they were like no if you want to and i didn't i like was like oh i don't want to yeah and i feel like i should have just been uh, took an initiative and because it just helped every, it helped me like deal with certain issues and help me deal with like you know i've it was like everything felt like a diss record back mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Like somebody said something, I was like, "Wow, well, I'm," you know. What I, mean? I was mm -hmm. just always like, "Always fighting. ready to go." Yeah. And I just don't feel that's that's it was it was. Uh, you do good therapy now? I have five years now. Okay. Yeah. Once a week. I was once every week, and then I got better last year, which made me sad a little yeah. bit. And she, it was now it's twice a month. I yeah, was, my my therapist like I went to like a grief person. And she's like, I, I don't have anything else for you to do. And I go, don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't want you fucking telling me. You don't, like, no. That or when your therapist is leaving the yeah, company yeah, and you're yeah. like, they're breaking up with you. Yeah. And you're like, hey, just, to, you know. Can just we... go over to this. I don't know this guy. <laughs> now I got to tell him all this shit. Do you think it, for me, it's like a barber. Yeah, it is like a barber. Because I, I can't switch barbers. I can't like, switch yeah, barber either, bro. It's like, yeah. you got to tell me where you're going, yeah. bro. And I feel like cheating on your barber too. Yeah, I did yeah. that, and I yeah. in another city, and yeah. I was like, I can never bring this yeah. up to nope. Colin. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, what would constitute a perfect day for you? A perfect day. Um. Uh, wake up. And for me, I just want someone, like, if to be able to afford to have someone do my laundry and fold it for me. So if I if I. <laughs> That's like yeah, I feel you on like dude like <laughs> if I didn't have to do that wake up have someone cook your food for you you know do all your errands for you and like just be able to do comedy at night and then yeah not have to leave I wish I could just make a living doing comedy being here and not have to leave oh yeah like traveling I don't know I just want to be here and not have to travel yeah yeah that's like that yeah. is the kind of yeah that's like the thing yeah 
I think, I mean, this is not like entertainment. I mean, it, it, it's like, it, like I lived in Toronto for a long time. So it was like one of those nights where you woke up, you went to breakfast with your friends and then mm -hmm. you just kicked it around the city during the day. And then you went to a jam. Like we went to this like jam in like on the east, uh, west side of town. Mm -hmm. And then we went to like this, um, uh, Spadina, we ate like till like three in the morning, mm. like that day. Yeah. And then it was in the summer. It was like a day where I was like, we did all these things. That's a good day. Yeah. Where I was like, if I could just repeat this as much as I can. Is there a joke you recently heard that you wish you wrote? Oh, there was, there was a moment that happened to me. And I guess I could tell the story as my friend, but, but it happened to him. And I was there, so I, I. But he's also a comic, so I can't fucking tell yeah. the bit. And I was like, man, I wish he weren't a fucking comic, <laughs> so I could fucking tell this bit. So there was, um, there was this white, this 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 younger white woman, around, and she uh, did like that. My friend was saying bitch, so he kept saying bitch, like he would say bitch all the time. And she goes, can you just stop saying bitch? Can you just stop saying bitch? It's so offensive to say bitch. She goes, you wouldn't want me to say nigga, would you? And my friend goes, I don't care if you say nigga, bitch. <laughs> and when I tell you she died, like she she ran out of there and I don't know, and I haven't seen her since, but <laughs> I wish that happened to me and I wish he wasn't a comic so I could fucking tell that, that, that fucking joke on stage. But I died, I died, man, oh my God. This is like not I don't he's not a comic, but this is like in 06. I, I, I remember coming to LA for like six months and I got robbed like by gun gunpoint pistol whipped and then they they were like, We're gonna shoot you run kind of mm -hmm. thing. So I'm I'm uh hanging out with some comics the next day. It was actually I think I was with Michael Dubay and uh Faquan. Oh, okay. Right? Like yeah. it's like a long time ago. And um I think Michael Dubay? Yeah. Oh wow. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I was with both. I would hang out with them a lot. R.I.P. Fuquan. Yes. Um, and uh, one of the guys, I think he might have been a comic, a newer comic. He was telling me he was from Chicago and he got robbed. And this, so the robber went up and pointed the gun at him, and he thought he could kick him. Yeah. He thought he could kick the gun out of his hand. So, <laughs> so I, the, I don't know if I'll be able to do the act. <laughs> the act that is crazy. So he just kind of like kicks. He goes in the air to try to kick it, but midway in the air, he realizes he's not gonna get the gun. <laughs> so when he's in the air, he just goes, "I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, <laughs> it's like the best thing I've ever heard in my life, dude. And I, this is like oh five oh six, and I've been telling it just to people, like, like not, you know. And I can't remember if he ever did it on stage or. Don't even remember if he was doing comedy, but it was like the craziest, <laughs> funniest thing. So quick yeah. into the punch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last question: When was the last time you cried of laughter? Oh man! Oh, I was watching um, me, myself, and Irene, <laughs> <laughs> and I was on mushrooms. That's the fun. Jim Carrey needed a fucking Oscar for that, man. Oh, man. Like <laughs> that every, every and his sons, man, <laughs> when they were solving that equation. Like, you don't use that stupid, you stupid motherfucker. Oh my god, I die laughing, man. Oh, such a great underrated movie. Shit, I ah, I can't even. Does it have to be a movie? No, no, it no. Any, any, last time you cry laughing. Any moment. I th I think it's not even. It was just like memories. Like when someone brings up like an old yeah. like uh, story, there's like a comic we knew. He felt like he went to. He was hosting, and he kind of like I don't think this is the last time. Yeah, I can't remember when okay. the last time I actually cried, but we were retelling it, and he on his way to the stage was in Montreal. He went to like uh, wave to the crowd, mm -hmm. and he his leg didn't clear the stage. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> but it was I wasn't there. Some the comic fell. was he fell, but like took the tables out. Oh. It was like the comedy <laughs> works, the old comedy uh, works in Montreal. Oh, upstairs. Upstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. cleared, but he held, he somehow held oh, his beer. Yeah. And he got up and he had to do like eight or ten minutes. He's the host, wow. and with that whole. This is at the beginning of the show. Right up, music oh, going. Oh, I don't wow. know if you know the layout of yeah, the yeah, works, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So he he kind of started from the back. You know, the okay. DJ would play yeah, the music. Yeah, and you walk up to you the walk stage. Walk up and he turn and he goes ah, and then he clipped. And wow. We still can't like anytime that's falling is always fun, man. It's like the funnest. Yeah. I've fallen. I've I saw a guy fall um, 
onto the stage and then back out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he's like a fa- he's a famous like uh, Aussie comedian, and we were all in the back. It's like. It was like a makeshift back room, mm-hmm. so there was a curtain, and they introduced him, and he fell. He fell. It gets up, recovers, and then he goes, okay, thank you guys. <laughs> <Loud> <laughs> <on> your- <laughs> yeah. My funniest fall, I know we got to get out here, but my funniest fall was uh, when I was in college, They had we had a new cafeteria, <laughs> and the fucking like, glass was like crystal clear. And this this kid got up. This kid got. We were sitting down eating. And this kid's going. I gotta, I gotta get to class. I'm running late. And he didn't realize like they had closed the doors <laughs> to let people know they had closed the cafeteria. <laughs> and he, when I tell you, he ran right into that wall, bro. And like it was like you know it's like a crowd of people yeah. and everyone's talking and then everyone just stops <laughs> at the same moment and then we look and then everyone just starts laughing. And I went to a black college, so you know everyone's like, "This is crazy, motherfucker." This- and like, so his whole time he was there, the, the whole time he was there, everyone brought that shit up, bro. Every time, bro. Yeah, dude. Like, like that's that's always fun when people like run in a glass. Oh my god, it was like oh, three hundred people silent, and then everyone just roared laughing at the same time, man. I was like, this is so fucking funny, bro. Yeah. That's the show. Thank you guys for. Oh, thank you guys for having us, man. Yeah, man.